Hey guys, today we're going to be playing episodes. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna play this one. It's, um, okay, it's gonna be Sushi Da. So Sushi, do you want to change your look? Actually, I know I kind of like this look. Psst. You're about to meet a cute guy. What should you be wearing? Let's see, do I have enough diamonds? How much diamonds do I have? I don't even know. Okay, let's see. This looks looks look is hot. Oh wait, it's not diamonds. Oh my god, yay. Shh, nope, I have nothing else. Okay, try blue dream baby queen. What's that? Oh, you know that's really cute. Okay, that's really cute actually. Looking good, sushi. Are you ready to take the city by storm? Oh heck yeah. Part one. Welcome to New York. I'm finally here. Watch out. Whoa. Hang on, I got you. Aww. Which one should I go? Should I go with the Reveille? You know what? You almost killed me. What were you thinking? You came out of nowhere. Not that I'm complaining. I'm Ethan, by the way. I, hi, I'm Sushi. Listen, I feel terrible of, about knocking you over. How can I make it up to you? Oh, well. 20 bucks, cab fare to my new apartment. Something way better than that. It just so happens that you're looking at a born and raised New Yorker. I'd love to show you around. <laughs> Ethan? Who's she? Sydney? What's going on here? Oh, hi, I'm... Excuse me, was I talking to you? Sydney, this is Sushi. She just moved her... No time to chat. But I'll see you tonight, Ethan. Yep, I'll be there. Perfect. Perfection. Toodles. Sorry, Sushi, that wasn't a very warm welcome. It's cool. At least you're nice. But listen, I would really love to show you around the city. Seriously? Aren't you sick of all the tourist spots? Actually, no. I've never been to any. When you're a native, you miss all, on all of that that stuff. Like, like wearing these T-shirts. How do they magically like have these? Omg, you guys are the cutest couple I've ever seen. Love the matching tees. See, we look awesome. Come on. We'll go to the Statue of Liberty, Times Square, Coney Island. What do you say? Will you pay tours with me? Play tours with me for the day. OMG, a private tour of, a, of iconic spots with an extremely hot New Yorker? Are you... Can you I knew I was going to do that. Rain check? Sure. But you have to at least let me buy you a drink at my favorite spot. Come on. Ooh, the spouts. Mm. <laughs> Welcome to the spouts. Yeah. Best bar in the city. This place is great. We think so. Zoe. Hey, Remy. Who's your friend? This is Sushi. She just moved here, which means she's in the market for cool, cool new friends to show her the ropes. Don't worry, girl. We'll have you walking, dressing, and dating like a New Yorker in no time. So, where's the bartender? Oh, Brandon? He's around here somewhere. You'll love him, Sushi. He's basically a honorary room rate. If it isn't my favorite customers, speak of the devil, here's Brandon now. What can I get you all? Sushi, you're dying for a drink? What do you want? I'll take a beer. Anything on tap is fine. Make it two. And I'll take a margarita, thanks. Hey, that was not an option for me. Two beers and a margarita coming right up. So, Sushi, was it? Yep, that's me. So sushi, so, well, so sushi. Where'd you, where'd the roomies find you? Actually, Ethan sort of ran over with me with his bike. Leave it to Ethan to see a cute girl and swerve, and then actually get you to come out to the spot with him. Well, he told me this place was the best. Thanks. I'm Brandon. I own this place. Nice to meet you, Brandon. Mm. Should I pick any advice on getting closer to Ethan, or did you um, 
Is this good, a good place to meet people? You know, I'm just gonna. This place has such a sexy vibe. I'm so glad you think so because we're hosting a singles night tonight. It's a new thing we've been trying, but so far the crowd's been fire. We've had so many people show up that tonight's event is actually VIP only. Oh, bummer. But hey, you're new in town. You deserve a break. Tell you what, if you want to come, just give me a call and I'll get you on the list. Thanks, Brandon. I'll let you know. So, Ethan, so, Ethan tells me you had a pretty dramatic morning. Sushi definitely knows how to make an entrance. I believe it. Mm, you know what? I'm going to make Ethan jealous. <coughs> Sorry, it's my mom. So, I met Sydney. Uh, uh-oh, jealous girlfriend, Barbie. I'm betting that went great. So then she is Ethan's girlfriend. With those two, it's impossible to say. They've been off on and off since I met Ethan. Lately, it seems like they're on the rocks. Oh, I see. Another round? I wish I could, I wish I could but my new roommate's expecting me. Another time? I'm going to hold you to that. Sushi. Definitely. See you later, Sushi. My guide. This is it. Oh my god. It's, oh my god. You? Oh, hell no. You're the Sushi who's renting out my extra room? You're my new roommate? I don't think so. I prefer not to live with boyfriends stealing randos. Wait, what? Be it. Bye. <sighs> what am I going to do? I have no place to live. Oh, God. I don't even have anywhere to sleep tonight. I better call someone for help. Brandon. <coughs> yeah, I kind of want to call Zoe. Hey, Sushi, calling about that sick VIP party tonight. I just checked over the guest list, and believe me, this par party is going to be halt. That sounds great, but that's not why I'm calling. My roommate kicked me out. I have nowhere to go. Brandon, what am I gonna do? Hey, hey, it's okay, relax. First of all, no matter what happens, you can always stay in the spare room behind the bar. Seriously, Brandon? That's so nice. Of course, in the meantime, relax. I think I have an idea, at least for tonight. Be at the spa in 15 minutes. I'm sending someone to meet you. Okay. Ethan, did Brandon send you to meet me? Hey, he did. Look, I'm sorry about Sid. I'm so glad you called Brandon. Wait, hold on. Sid, is that, the, is that like the girlfriend? Hold on. How did they know? Because like, she didn't say. You know, he knew this was going to happen. This is all going to work out perfectly. Look up, Sushi. See those windows on the top floor? Yeah? What about them? That's where I live. Right above the spot? That's so cool. I'm glad you think so, because you're staying the night. Mm. This is a, this is it. Home sweet home. Our humble abode, and for tonight, yours. We're actually looking for a new roommate, so this works out perfectly. Zoe, seriously, you're the best. Not so fast. Ethan and Zoe may vouch for you, but this space is, it's sacred. The three of us live together perfectly. We're soulmate friends. And we take this whole roommate's thing very seriously. Basically, she's saying you can stay the night. But if you want to make this permanent, you've got to prove you can, you can hang. Got it? Oh, totally. I can definitely hang. Great. In this case, welcome. I'm Isabel. What, by the way. So nice to meet you. Enough chit-chat. Let's show you where you're staying tonight. I did get so excited, too. Okay. Holy wow. Like it? It's incredible. The only thing I like is a view, so. But how come it's not already taken? Oh, it is. This is Noah's room. He's on tour with his band right now. But it's all yours for tonight. This place is amazing. And so are you guys. I wish I could stay for more than one night. Well, if it tonight goes well, then maybe we will. This sleepover is going to be so much fun. 
This is great, Sushi. As soon as you left the spot earlier, I was wishing you were hanging with us tonight. It's Sydney. I better take this. Ugh, not her again. Sid, hey. Okay, is it just me or does Sydney have crazy eyes? At least we won't have to deal with her for long. I mean, come on, it's Ethan. What's that supposed to mean? Is? What is it? Uh-oh. What? Well, who's that? My my, my boy, b boyfriend. Ex-boyfriend is X. And you broke up with him. So why do you torture yourself by getting notifications every time he posts a new pic? Now get it all together before you scare off Sushi. Before we even get a chance to find out if she's roommate material. It was really an intense breakup. They dated for like two weeks. Hmm. The most magical two weeks of my life. Okay, have we already forgotten that Tevin categorically sucked? I just wish there was some way I could take my mind off him. You know, back home, I went through a really bad breakup. You did? Yep. The only thing that helped me get over my ex was a hitting a bar or club, being out, surrounded by hotties and music. For me, that's always the perfect antidote to a broken heart. Totally. That sounds amazing. It does. Too bad we haven't heard of it, anything going on tonight. Actually, Brandon may have mentioned something to me. There's a VIP event at the spot tonight. Apparently, it's this sing incredible single tonight. OMG, seriously? Sushi, you have to get us on that list. I'm with this. There's seriously no event that like Bran a Brandon event. Celebrities come to his party, Sushi. Celebrities. Sushi, can you get us on the list? Ask Brandon what? To get us on the list for a hot VIP party Sushi knows about. Whoa, seriously? That'd be awesome. Plus, Sid just called to say she'd be th three hours late tonight. This party would be the perfect way to fill the time. Get us on that list, and, you're, and you'd more than prove you belong in this apartment with us. I second that. If I invite the roommates to this party, they'll definitely invite me to live here. Don't worry, guys. Tonight's going to be awesome. Maybe we can find a new show to binge watch. Oh, okay. So no party then? Oh my god, I won't. Oh my god, this sucks. <sighs> a ranger would have been fun, but I'm sure there will be plenty of other opportunities to see if Sushi would make a good roommate. Definitely. TV it is. What was that? OMG, someone's headed for my room. Hello? What were you doing in my bed? Your bed? Hold on, you must be Noah, and you are Sushi. Aren't you supposed to be on tour or something? Canceled. Look, usually I'd love to find a hot girl in my bed, but I'm pretty tired. We'll have to continue this tomorrow. Mm. Continue what exactly? This whole get to know the girl in my bed conversation. What did you think I meant, bedhead? Whoa, what do you think you're doing? You don't expect me to sleep in my tour clothes, do you? I expect you to sleep in something. Nah, I sleep naked. It's the only way. Well, this is my bed now. Move over, will you? I'm exhausted. Wait, you're sleeping... Right next to me. Oof. Okay, guys, that is it for today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below what you think um, is going to happen in episode two. 
Um, so I will see you um, in the next video. Okay, bye.